C1. You are listening at FameTV.info. Mount Pan Road had many curves and curves. The scenery along the way was wonderful, and the clouds covered the sky. It was a place that people could not forget for the rest of their lives. Squeak. The sharp scraping and clashing sound suddenly broke the silence in the forest. A BMW that was coming down from the mountain seemed to have lost control of itself as it crazily sped forward, and from time to time, it would even drift away. It was urgent and dangerous, as if it was in the middle of a life or death match that I and the driver's seat was a young man. His handsome face was grave, but he was not flustered. He was only ridiculing the smile on the corner of his mouth, someone had tampered with the car. It seemed like they wanted to kill him, but if they died so easily, wouldn't that be too easy, too satisfying that IT wasn't that simple. Even if he turned into a malicious ghost, he still wouldn't let them go, the man let out a strange, contemptuous laugh, but the car was unable to stop the momentum of its rapid descent. It carried him down the hill, and in the end, with an explosion, it turned into a blazing, rolling hill, the next day, on the headlines of a certain newspaper. G Clan's new CEO, G Jun Young, some people were happy while others were sad. Seven days later, the helpless doctors and nurses in the hospital were chased out of the disorderly ward, the sun was setting by the window, and the man looked like a trapped beast in a dark cage. His dark eyes seemed to lose focus at I and the instant he jumped out of the train, he had thought of thousands of possibilities. He was missing an arm or a leg, and he even died, but he had never thought of being blind and not being able to see anything. Even if he was as warm as jade, this situation would still be unavoidably violent like thunder. A long sigh lightly brushed past his ear, and he pursed his lips in disdain. He only looks like a good piece of skin. So, it turns out that he's someone who doesn't do anything. What a pity, who are you? He was blind, but his hearing had become abnormally sharp. He only felt that the owner of the voice who was less than 20 centimeters away was a young girl. The one who saved you. Although the man couldn't see, he was still prepared. Why did you save me? Hey, you are really interesting. I saved you out of good intentions, but you actually doubted my motive for saving you. How boring. Even little monk knows that saving a life is better than creating a seven-dot-layered pagoda. The girl seemed to be angry. You're a nun. There was a shrine on that hill, which was seldom visited, and he knew it, but it was a pity that the sound was so crisp and tinkling. TSK, how wonderful is the mortal world. Why did I run over to the place where the Amitbha Buddha hammered the wooden fish every day to defend the place? But you, Ji Jun Yang, if you don't have anything to live for, I don't mind sending you to the Washing Heart Temple. Since we're only 17 or 18 miles away, just treat it as me being a good person. The man's eyes suddenly became gloomy and he said, How do you know my name? Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.